How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so last time I said that we would be revisiting Ekin in this vlog, that is still the plan. Um, for those of you who haven't checked out um, some of the earlier videos on this channel, Etin is um, the language that I've created for my multiverse. If you're interested in learning what I said about it back then, uh, your best bet is to go and look up um, Etin 101, which I believe is the name of the video. <laughs> and I think it's like, I don't know, four, fifth-ish. <laughs> so it's quite a while ago now, um, for those of you who've noted the uh, number of this particular one. Um, so why do I want to talk about it again? Well, partly because a lot of my videos back then, the sound recording wasn't as good, the format was kind of a little bit longer and a little bit more all over the place. Um, I was still kind of just trying to establish myself and how I sort of talk about things. Um, so with that in mind, I, I think there'll be a few different subjects and stuff that I will go back in and revisit and, and we talk about um, just because, you know, the, not everybody is going to go back and look at my earlier stuff and for those of you who are kind of interested in, in the multiverse then you know this is that you know <laughs> not necessarily repeating myself is a good thing but occasionally bringing back the up bringing back up things that i've talked about before you know might help keep people sort of in the know um as it were so i started creating etin as a teenager um it basically started off as just like a handful of kind of nonsense words. Um, their first appearance being um, in the Tail Saga because Tail Saga. <laughs> and yeah, that's probably one of those other things I'm going to have to need to really talk about at some point. I do talk about Tail Saga a lot. It, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's my, um, my fanfic series. There are links to it in the description below. It's free for you guys to read. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, but yeah, the first appearance, or uh, well, the first time I ever sort of had any written etin and anything, I believe, was in the Tail Saga. Um, and at that point, there was just kind of nonsense words that I sort of put in just to sort of sound like something. Um, but, you know, when I sort of hit university, um, by that sort of point, I decided that, no, I want to actually turn this into a proper language. So... I opened the Word document and I found all the words that I'd so far created and tried to assign meaning or something to them, try to formulate, um, formalise the, the language slightly. Um, and then I printed the, the initial sort of document, which was surprising how many words it actually did have on it at that point. Um, then left sort of like room to sort of add words. And then every time I sort of added so many words, I would put them into the document and reprint the document. Um, some of the words that I sort of initially kind of had were suggested to me by um, fellow, <laughs> fellow housemates in my first student house. <laughs> so thank you guys for, for your suggestions um, and for helping me flesh out this, this, this language. Um, but yeah, from what was essentially kind of, yeah, this is just a fun little thing that I'm just going to throw in, but doesn't really mean anything. It has grown and developed, and there are times where I, I do sort of spend a lot of time sort of thinking about, you know, how does this language work? How, you know, what can I add to it or take away? What words do I need? Can I say this sentence or that sentence? And some of it is like a memory thing because, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this when I'm at work. <laughs> Instead of thinking about my work, obviously. <laughs> I'm nowhere near my computer, so I can't actually look up and see which words I have. Um, but, you know, I, I was just like walking around going, hmm, could I say this particular sentence in Etin and not being able to remember half the words, even the ones that I know I'm pretty sure I do have words for. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, some of the ideas behind... Um, or some of the ways I've sort of thought about this language and, and, and thought about how this language works is that I wanted it to be a particularly rhythmic language. I wanted it to sort of lend itself 
sort of naturally to to sort of singing and, and music and, and sort of like have this rhythm to it um partly because it made it easier to sort of come up with words which would fit within you know, if, if I needed like a word for something I could have a word for um but I had like the rest of the words in the in, in the sentence having something that kind of fit in with the flow uh, kind of made a lot more sense so having that sort of idea of there, there's a particular rhythm to this language there's a particular way this language sort of sounds when it's being spoken um made it a lot easier to kind of find those words and sort of slot those words in and some of the words are a little bit weird uh either in terms of spelling or in terms of how they're kind of pronounced compared to how they're spelled um but at the same time it's sort of <clears throat> There's something very organic about the language. Um, and there's something sort of very, I don't know, I, I like it. I like it as, as sort of the basis for, you know, the particular breeds um, that use it for, for, their, for their way of communicating because it, it's, yeah, it is something I've spent a lot of time thinking about and, and developing and working on. Um, like certain rules, like um, there is an emphasis within the language more on how you say the words. Um, because certain words have multiple meanings and how you say that word is, you know, the, or how that word contextually fits within what you've said will, you know, change exactly what the word means. Um, although most of the time the words are all sort of things that mean very similar things and it's just you sort of picking your closest match, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then like, I, I have to admit, some of that was kind of laziness um, because I didn't want to have to keep coming up with like millions and millions of words. But I was kind of like, hang on, this word is very similar to this word, so I will make it the same word. And it's just, you know, how you emphasize it as to which word it actually is. And yeah, yeah, okay, there's a little bit of laziness going on there. But, you know, it's still a, a workable language, it's still a usable language. Um, in terms of multiverse law, it is also supposed to be the original language. Um, whether or not it actually is, probably a little bit of debate. <laughs> um, it, it was probably sort of a slightly earlier form of it or, or whatever, and the language has developed and grown and, and, and whatever else, um, and there are different variants and there are different, uh, definitely different like, dialects and, and stuff that you know affect what words you use and how you use those words and, and stuff like that. So yeah, in 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 those sorts of terms, you know, it's not something that I've just done because So yeah, from from its sort of slightly humble beginnings, I would say that Ethan has definitely sort of grown into this sort of definite entity of, of itself and it's something that I do plan to continue developing. Um, I need the right stories to, to sort of develop it because not every story sort of requires etin um, or the main form of etin at any rate. Um, so it's about, you know, once you've got the right characters and the right situation, you can then sort of push forward and develop these, these words and, and language and figure more things out. But if you're not doing stories that kind of need it, then it does sort of get pushed a little bit to, to the wayside. And yeah, that's not great. <laughs> but you can't, you know, there's only so many things that you can sort of juggle at the same time. Um, so at the moment, I haven't sort of really done anything more to develop Etin for a little while. Um, but, you know, from, from my point of view, that's not a bad thing because I'm still enjoying all the things that I'm writing at the moment. I'm still, you know, really enjoying <laughs> all the things that I'm writing at the moment. <laughs> um, I don't know how else to sort of say that. Um, so obviously I've, I have mentioned to you guys about certain projects that I'm working on that I'm very excited about. And yeah, even the, even the other project that I'm working on that I'm not necessarily working as hard at at the moment, I'm still enjoying it. I'm still, you know, I'm not just doing it because I feel like I have to keep going with that story. I'm doing it because I do actually want to get to the end of that story because I do, you know, I do enjoy those characters and, and, and whatever else. So it's just kind of a shame. But none of it requires any etin at the moment. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's just a shame. <laughs>
Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, as I said, this is just going to be, this was just going to be a nice brief little, uh, this is what Etten is, for those of you who haven't seen the original video. If you want to know more, if, if you want to know what I said about it back then, and you're prepared to watch something that's a lot quieter and longer, um, then go back and check out the, the earlier video. I'm almost 100% sure it's called Etten 101. Um, and I do sort of mention some of the words definitely in that one and, and some, you know, give you an, an idea of how it actually sounds uh, to be spoken and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but this was just sort of a brief kind of, this is what it was. Um, and if you want to find out more, go check out the other the other video. But if not, that's cool. You, you know what it is now. So if I mention it again in the future. Yeah, it, it, I think it's much easier to sort of point people back to a shorter video and then to a longer video, uh, especially when the longer videos sound solitude isn't necessarily the best. Right. <clears throat> anyway, uh, with that said, uh, the next the next vlog, um, I titled it. I've, I've titled it "Planning a Year." Um, I don't know why I titled it that. I know what I mean by that, but I don't know why. Um, I, I decided that's the, the title of the subject. <laughs> um, I, I kind of do. I kind of do. I kind of know why, in particular, I've used planning a year um, as, as a particular go-to phrase for, for next week's uh, next vlog's topic. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to let you guys ponder over what I meant. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting as, if nothing else, just to understand kind of a little bit what Etten is, if I'm mentioning it at all. Um, I hope you're intrigued by what next week's is going to be about, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!